Hey there everybody, it's me JT the Bee Guy and today I wanted to show you how to make some sugar syrup for your bees because it's that time of year the nectar flow hasn't started yet and the bees actually need some food to eat because it's been a really long hard winter here in the East Coast. And for those of you that are at home and you want to do something for your bees, this is something simple and easy that you can do to help save the honeybees yourself. Everybody's concerned about the honeybees and we all need to do our part to save them. So what I did is I went ahead and we mixed up uh, four cups of sugar to eight cups of water and what you want to do is you want to put your water on the stove and you want to bring it to a boil only bring the water to a boil then turn the water off and then you want to stir in your sugar and you want to stir it in until it's completely dissolved and so it looks just like this uh, prior to pouring in your uh, sugar you want to make sure that you go ahead and you get a tea bag and this is a tea bag of essential uh, elements. Uh, a friend of mine is an herbalist, so she makes this. It's a combination of nettle and yarrow and chamomile, dandelion root, and a few other things that she puts in there. But they're all healthy, all good for the bees, all completely organic, nothing to worry about. So you take out two cups of that and you can leave your tea bag in or you can pour it out, whatever you're more comfortable with. Add that to your formula there because what you're trying to do is you're trying to increase the health and the vitality of your bees. Add a product that I've been using for the last five years for my bees. I find it very, very effective. The product is called Apiform, and Apiform is a proprietary blend of essential oils that are pharmaceutical grade essential oils. They are distilled in the French method, so they are very, very high quality, the best quality of essential oils that you can get. They are no GMOs in the essential oil, and they are all natural. This is the Apiform product here. This comes to us from France. I am the North American distributor for this product, so it's great to use. And what this does is it just makes a beautiful, beautiful tea that the bees absolutely love. So we added four cups of sugar, four cups of water that we brought to a boil, and we want to add this to our poultry feeder, and we just pour that right in. The poultry feeder is filled with ice, and the reason it's filled with ice is to cool the solution down quickly if you boil it, and you want to put it out for your bees to get immediately. So you can take and just add that to it. Add your top onto your poultry feeder, and then once you go outside, you'll just turn it over. You want to make sure, though, that before you put the product in, see that hole right there? you got to fill that hole that the liquid pours out of with some sort of stopper. I recommend using a piece of sponge, or you can put in it a little bit of a paper towel wad, or you can put in a piece of cotton, but you want to make sure that it's lodged because the girls get really hungry and they'll start pulling that out immediately and then the liquid will flood out and you don't want to drown the bees. I also recommend that when you do this uh, that you either fill this tray here once it's turned over where the liquid fills up around this area here. It's really good to lay sponges inside there so the sponge creates a landing space for the bees or you can fill it with pebbles or rocks and so as the liquid comes out of here it floods in and you don't have to worry about getting a whole tray full of dead bees because once the product is in they do get quite excited about it. So that is our sugar syrup and one other thing I wanted to show you was the opportunity for you to feed your bees pollen. We always hear this time of year that pollen is a really important source and it's been a really long winter and for the queen in order for her to be able to start building up and laying eggs she needs to have a protein source and pollen offers that protein source for her. Oftentimes you'll get the pollen and you can get it at the health food store this is a product brand that I use, uh, fresh bee pollen, a whole granule bee pollen. And you can see it is just pollen right there as it comes in the formula there. It's just regular bee pollen. So what I like to do, uh, because I found this works out really well, when you have the pollen like this, the bees aren't able to access it because the granules are too heavy. So what I do is I use a coffee grinder that looks just like this. This is a coffee grinder that I have not used for coffee. I use it for spices, but it's brand new. I've never used it for anything. You can use any brand that you want. And you just take and you add that in. And then you just pulverize it until it turns into a powdered form. And so you want to go ahead and do that. Here we've taken it out here. 
and you can see that the consistency is now really like a powder consistency. I put this into a large container, a container that once the bees get inside of here, it's large enough that I don't have to worry about it spilling out. When the bees land, their little wings really cause the product to go around, and rather than having it spill out uh, of the area, it's better to have the bees land in here. And it's very quick that they do. They'll land and they start filling their corbicula very quickly with this pollen. And they take it right back to the hive and they start storing it. So we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you how the feeder works. And I'm going to show you how the pollen works. And I'll be right back with you. So thanks for coming by today. I hope you learned something. This is a great way, great way for you to feed your bees. It's an alternative to using commercial patties. Oftentimes with the commercial patties, you're never quite sure how they're manufactured or what's inside of them. And offering your bees pollen that's just like this that you ground yourself is a really healthy means and way to feed your bees, especially in the spring this time of year when there's nothing in bloom and it gives them an opportunity to start building up more quickly and the queen can get busy and start laying so that you can have a really, really strong hive. So this pollen here combined with your bee tea with happy form, of course, will really make a difference for your bees. Thanks for coming by today. I hope you learned something. It's me, JT. And I have my pollen. We're going to go out to the hive. We're going to take a look and we're going to see if the girls are going to appreciate this delicious little treat that we're going to bring them right now. Uh, I don't see too many bees in there. I wish those flies would get rid of. All right, so we'll put that pollen right there. This is the pollen, and usually, just in a couple of minutes, the bees will fly in, they'll see it, and they'll start going crazy, and they love it. But that might take a minute or two for them to be able to find it. Okay, there's one of the bees. All right, so watch what she does here. As she flies in, she'll get very excited. And she'll start picking up the pollen on her corbicula, and she gathers it up really quickly. So what we see here is the bees are in there. You can see they're already getting kind of excited. And they're gathering up that pollen. Right inside there. They're going to add it to their corpiculas and they're going to race home with it. And in a little while, this whole area here is just going to be full of bees. And they'll all be pulling that pollen out of there. See that bee back there, how much pollen she has on her corbicula? one little girl here. There's a lot of pollen that fell off. She's just going around collecting it all. See her how she's just putting it all together there, filling up her corbicula. Here's another girl there. Totally gathering up that pollen and storing it. Putting it on her little hind leg there. See that corbicula? She's stuffing it up. Here's a cute little girl, totally downloaded. There's this one here, too. 